Cool. Let's do this again. Way better already. That's bad. I did too much adjusting there. There we go. Oh. You can't move there anymore. I think. But is game audio... I feel like game audio might be a little bit too loud. But I don't know. I think enemy bounces are completely consistent now. I think they're completely consistent on this new version. Came out like two days ago. I don't know, we'll see, but it's looking promising. Also, swimming's faster now. I think I can... I think I can notice, maybe? Patch notes only said, said it was increased slightly, so it's not, like, dramatic. Wow, I am not good at that jump anymore, apparently. skip to work. The, the really hard one that Lance found that I never did. Okay. I'm over here. Let me bounce on your head! Jeez! Yeah, there's like a weird wall climb Lance found way back when, and I'm able to get the first half of it, uh, but I can't get the second half of it. The thing is, I never did it back then, and so either I'm not good at it and I need to practice it more, or it doesn't work anymore. So, one of those two. First half, I'm, I'm getting, I, I got down decently well, but it's still kind of hard. Okay. Everyone over here!
Tempting, but no. Failed it once. So it's not 100% consistent. That, or I was just positioned incorrectly. Ah, these positions, th these enemies screwed me. They screwed me from the skip. I could have had that, but no. They're just in bad positions there. I guess it's pretty early into the run. Oh yeah, this was changed. You're, like, locked into 2D there, so you can't do the... the... the weird ledge jump on the edge to skip that cycle. Hey, what that's to get? Thanks for the good luck. Hope you're doing well. Second run of any percent right here. It's gonna be a lot better because that run was very bad. As most first runs are. Uh, yeah, everything is all, pretty much has a basic route. Basically, uh, in order to unlock World 5, we need a certain amount of chess pieces and tiles. And so it's basically just a matter of figuring out which ones are the slowest ones that we're able to skip <laughs> for the first four worlds. And then just run through the, the final world without collecting any. And there's only like five pieces that we can skip and like 10 tiles that we can skip but the thing is like four tiles um once you get all four tiles that unlocks a piece so that also factors into the routing Wow, I failed that again. There we go. That jumps kind of hard. Yeah, I know you said you have thought about possibly picking this game up and trying it out. At least I think I, I think you said that. Okay, this is a 2D section too. An update came out that made some of those like side scrolling sections like actually lock you in into 2D and not being able to move forward and backwards, which is good for casual but actually messes up a few skips 
or a, a few movement optimizations we used to do. <laughs> that involved, like, kind of going out to jump on things that we're not supposed to. No! This is going terribly. Oh, this is going terribly. Uh, there's some pretty cool stuff found in the new levels. Oh, you bought it? Nice. Oh, come on. I hate this mushroom. I hate this mushroom throw. <laughs> World 4 also wasn't super well explored up till now. Because we never did full game runs of it, so... There's also some new stuff found in that. World 4 kind of feels like a new world to me, even though we've had it for a, a decent amount of time. Yeah, there's some pretty cool new stuff in World 5 and 4. Enemies are getting in my way. Yeah, enemy bouncing is definitely way more consistent now. I think it's like completely consistent because in the launch version, um, those like enemy bounces, like bouncing off an enemy and then jumping. Uh, sometimes in the old version, for whatever reason, we never, I, I was never really sure why, uh, sometimes you just can't jump after you bounce off of an enemy. It just, like, wouldn't let you jump. But it seems to be completely fixed now. Which is very nice. Because that was quite an annoying, kind of RNG, inconsistent type of thing that we had to deal with. I don't have to kill those enemies, but they can mess me up when trying to grab that apple. Also, uh, I did my first any percent run on the PS5 version just because I felt like it. I don't know why. I, I hadn't played the game fully on console yet, and I kind of just felt like playing on PS5. And there's actually some differences in the console version, which I would not expect for a game in 2023. Like, I'd expect that from, like, the N64 era, but, like, some of the skips don't work, and there's, like, a tree missing in one level. Oh, uh, yeah, it came out on console, um, like, when it released. Uh, it wasn't in on console in early access. Yeah, it came out on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Series S and X, and it also came out on Switch, which I have not tried yet, but uh, a little bit concerned about how performance is going to be on the Switch because um, it's the Switch. And also, the developer has stated that that version's probably going to be running at 30 FPS instead of 60. No! Ah, oh, that sucks. I should have jumped there. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I don't have to recollect the chess piece or anything. It is a bit of a time loss, though.
I was worried that wasn't gonna hit. Sometimes throwing mushroom, the exploding mushrooms in this game, um, sometimes you think it's gonna hit, but it won't, and sometimes you don't think it's gonna hit, but it will. It's still trying to get a feel for for it and aiming them. They're like a tad bit finicky. Oh, if I made that, that would have been super cool and, like, perfect RNG, like, for enemy RNG. Because I'm pretty sure where the enemies spawn is RNG, like, within a given area. do an enemy bounce to make this puzzle faster and prevent having to go down the second time or having to do the whole thing twice. Alright. Pretty good. We have to wait here anyway, so that wasn't too much of a time loss. I mean, that wasn't any kind of time loss at all. We had to wait for the crystal to run out. Of, like, Mario Wonder? Yeah, um, this whole game kind of reminds me of Mario 3D World, to be honest. Like, just, like, the whole camera, like, the fixed 3D camera, and just this whole game gives 3D World vibes. Yeah. And actually, um, do you know much about the, um, the overworld out-of-bounds glitches in Mario Wonder? Or have you seen those? This tree right here apparently is not in the console version. For whatever reason. <laughs> Uh, so Lance actually found, uh, it's not useful, but there is one overworld out of bounds that Lance found that's quite amusing. Oh no. This skip is way harder now. No. Come on. No, come on. No! The skip is harder because grabbing was changed. Versus the early access version. Screw it. I'll just do the old way for now. Or the, the casual way. I'm not wasting more time on that. <laughs> Basically, instead of going over and getting that button to race this platform, you can use that rock to get the apple up there. Which used to be so much easier, but now you have to do the weird throw without the apple breaking and grab the apple when you're up there. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, it's po I think it's possible to make that cycle. It's just really hard and I haven't done it yet. Okay. That, that works too. Like, I think you have to jump from that fence. No, I I did it again! Are you kidding me? Stop jumping too fast. There we go. Bruh. Raku. Why you do this to me? Also, if you're at one health, the enemies almost always drop a health, so... Sometimes, if there's multiple enemies around and you're at two health, you can drop yourself down to one health. And then, make sure you don't die, which can happen very easily, but then get a bunch of enemies and get up to max health if there's enough enemies around. Which is what I did there. And I hate this bridge. I've always hated this bridge. Yes, you can play as Prue, the pigeon, or bird, or whatever, whatever Prue is. <laughs> and you can get Prue jumps. There's a skip here, but I haven't actually seen it yet. Something about jumping on that tree. But this part is very annoying without the skip. Because the mushroom can blow up on the on the bridge like that instead of going over and blowing up the wall. And when it does blow up the wall, it can blow you up. Why didn't you drop health? We're supposed to drop health! Now for the boss fight. Oh wow, that was really fast. It might be the position I want them to be in. Usually this boss is supposed to like spin around in circles a whole bunch, but if he runs into a wall, it kind of cancels the cycle out. They're trying to find the fastest place for him to be at. Thing. 
long. It's level long. That where I was just playing bad. I don't think I actually played too bad. This time. Or last time. Someone's gonna be pissed that I blow up that motorcycle. That whole quit out thing to like it skips an animation, but that's like the one thing I found that's way faster on console. Like that quit out thing is whole is like instant. Also, insta dive still work, which is great. Basically, if you press the- if you hold the dive button right as you hit the water, you'll dive down instantly. Right. So this is where the route differs. We still get this because it's super fast. And then we get nothing else in this level. Oh, except for the chest piece. There's a whole chess piece with pumpkins and scarecrows that you do here. That's slow. We skip it. There's this key. That's slow. I have to get a key all the way back. That's slow. We skip it. This is part of the one where we start skipping slow chess pieces. Forgot which way to go up there. This is my favorite skip the run. So cool looking. This was of course found by Lance. Because Lance is a genius. I was gonna fall there. But nope. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the only out of bounds in the run so far. And that rock that right there was actually uh, added because of a bug that I found when trying to do that skip. Classic Lance Flyphead. Exactly. There's also probably an apple throw that we can do here, but the problem with apple throws is if you throw them incorrectly, they break. 
and like pumpkins or acorns or anything else. And then this is where Peru jumps were found uh, in order to skip this section. Usually we have to play this next section completely as Peru. This this one's hard. There we go. I just need to get the timing down. The timing of the switch is not what you would think. And also the jump timing. Alright, now we don't have to re-enter the level in any percent, because that is slow. Because in all chess pieces, we would actually have to re-enter the level. Uh, we would grab the gauntlet at the later in the level that we skipped here. And then we have to re-enter uh, in order to use the gauntlet, which like makes it makes those like white and black crystals make like clones of yourself. that you can throw. That's not the fastest way to do it. I still don't know the whole the complete fastest way to do that yet. No, that's not what I was supposed to do. I was not supposed to kill him. I completely forgot to get that, that mushroom up there. Now I can kill him. Oh, I guess I could have. Eh, probably still. Also, these guys are aim pots because they they're so good that they're aim bots and they're plants. I got that checkpoint. I don't need it.
Oh, I didn't take any damage. Wonderful. I didn't know you could do that. I'm going the wrong way. Wonderful. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> Thankfully that new key strat exists. You used to be able to grab the key through the fences, but they, um, that changed that. But thankfully that strat is possible, and I think it might actually be faster than what we used to do. Which is cool. I always love it when new stuff is faster than old stuff. But to be honest, the dev didn't really patch too many things out of the game, speedrun-wise. Really only, like, stuff that would affect casual players. Like, most stuff he's kept in, only, like, changing stuff that's actually affects, like, casual play. Which is nice. Yeah, the dev is in uh, the speeder and Discord and has seen runs and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and he seemed like really like like it didn't seem like he was disappointed at all or like. Thought all the stuff that we do is pretty cool. And he's actually, um, I don't know if he's done it yet, but he said that he's gonna add some code into the game to make, um, making an auto splitter easier. Because I tried that, and, uh, since the game was made in Unity, apparently that means it's very hard. But, um, he's gonna add some stuff to make that easier for us. Yeah, this game was made pretty much by one person. No, that is not... Stop running away. Thank you. 
didn't expect this to be a one-person game. Yeah, for, like, how polished this game always has been. Like, even when we played, like, the first version that I played and, like, me, Thermal, and Lance played, um, ended at the level right before this one. And even then, the game was, like, super polished. It was just, like, it was only up to the previous level that we had. So for a one-person game, this is, like, amazing. For sure. I think, like, um, like, the publisher, whoever, like, ported it to the console. And, like, there's some people who did, like, um, someone else did the music. And... No! <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a composer, and there's, like, some other people in the credits, but... Gameplay-wise and dev-wise, pretty much all one guy. Alright. Gives you hope, yeah. Thing. Please be good. RNG. That is not good RNG. I think which platform he spawns on is completely random. I haven't been able to find a way to man manipulate it or predict it. Unfortunately. Which, like, sometimes I felt like I was onto something. I was like, oh, maybe this will make him always spawn here. But then it stopped working, so I think it's just completely random. Alright, that was decent. That was better than last time, but still not the best RNG. So, it's something. This level overall was way better than last time. Partly because uh, one of the skip, the, the gate clip that we did, uh, apparently doesn't work in the console version. Oh, right, yes, we got you mentioned that you are working on or playing around with making a game. In Unity, I think you said? Barely started learning Unity last week. That's cool. I've dabbled around with uh, making games, and it is something I want to get back to at some point. But at the moment, or not at the moment, but like I'm kind of focused on animation stuff. And next quarter, I'm actually going to be working on making a 3D animated short film in Blender. So that's what I'm going to be doing for school next quarter. Which is exciting, but also stressful and makes me nervous because I'm pretty much doing it all by myself. Yeah, right now, like over winter break, I've been kind of playing around with what I want to do for the story. And I really need to get to storyboarding soon because I haven't, I haven't started that yet. And I want to have at least a decent plan going into it. Oh yeah, for sure, I can definitely... Well, I already know how to use Blender a bit, so I can definitely help you with anything that you need if Blender's gonna be something you're using. The only thing I'm, like, super worried about is, like, character design and, like, drawing, because, like, I'm not great at drawing and I'm not great at visualizing character designs. And I'm also not great at video games, apparently. 
But yeah, like character designs and drawing and that stuff isn't my strong suit. And that's always something I'm like, I always struggle with. So I might try to find another student who like wants to help me with those aspects. And also like audio stuff is also and music isn't my greatest forte either. So I might try to find some people to collaborate with, but doing that is hard. Like trying to find people to work with is hard. Even though I'm at college, I just... Social anxiety! Gotta love it. I hate it. I hate that I have social anxiety. One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Uh, there we go. Messed up a tiny bit, but that's fine. Pretty much you press the side buttons five times. So I figure just running back and forth is the fastest way to do it. I wonder if a death warp would be faster here, or just going up like this. Death warp might be faster, but it definitely seems close. Gotta time it. Definitely would have to time that. Great ideas for kind of music, the lack of technical ability and art. Yeah, music I'm terrible at, and art I'm getting better at, but just like visualizing character designs is hard for me, and gameplay ideas, I have lots of cool gameplay ideas, but like the programming and technical stuff, I'm, I can do it, but I'd rather not if I don't have to, because I've struggled quite a bit, but I, uh, when I was working on, when I was playing around with making a game, I was using Unreal Engine, and I don't actually have to type code for Unreal Engine, it has, uh, blueprints, which is basically just, like, plugging nodes together, and it's more visualized, which, considering I have dyslexia, um, really helps me, um, not having to type and have code and just being able to visualize and block it all together. Hey, what's up, Sam? Welcome back, I think. You were here earlier, right? I'm on PC but now. Um, yeah, you were. I remember now. Totally remembered. Yeah. On PC again, because I realize PS5 is super slow. Sorry I keep forgetting if you are here or not. There's just so many green names that I gotta keep track of. <laughs> There's Thermal, Sand, Spaghetti, Shadow. So many. <laughs> yeah. I don't try to mix you up, it's just. <laughs> Maybe I would, you were a figment of my imagination. So, I 
get everything in this level, and then it's the next two levels where I skip stuff. I could have came back for the health. Cheese PB and 120 star? Hell yeah, let's go. Is that a new world record or is someone else still a world record? No? Okay. Still cool. I'm assuming he's doing carpetless, because that's the hot new thing. But it's just three. Okay, does this still kill me? Yes, that still kills me. Okay. I just had to check. For some reason, grabbing that chest piece like that kills you. Oh, he made this a side-scrolling section. Oh, that's actually nice for that. Is this part? No, this part is not. Oh, wait, I can I think I can make that. Yes, I can. That's cool. Okay. This is all tiles, but skip the chest piece. Eesh, that was close. Oh my god, I actually have three health in this section! For once! I'm always at like two or one health by that point. Oh wow, neither of you died? Okay. Actually, would an exit just be better there? I think an exit might be slightly faster there. Yeah, it probably is, actually. Barely, but probably. Especially if you're, like, low on health. Hmm. Get back up to three health there. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. I said don't hit me! Technically, you didn't hit me, but still! Was not your job. I mean, it is your job, but I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling at this point. My brain's going scatterbrained. Oh, unless this cycle would be better without quitting out. That's a, that's something. So this cycle is better without quitting out. Hey, why did I... Don't hit me!
Come here, enemies. Let me bounce on your heads. You don't need enemy bounces to do that. You can do like a delayed jump to get that. And you can also, you can kind of use pro jumps, but there's lots of ways to do that. But also, getting the enemies away from there makes this part, could make this part slightly easier. Also, is game audio good for my voice and game and everything? Uh, I'm terrible at audio, so I have no clue. It's all good, awesome. 20 minutes ahead, love to see it. Okay. Here we skip everything. All the tiles and we just get the boss piece. This boss went terribly because uh, last run I was like super low on coins and so I kept dying and having to be sent back to the beginning of the level. Because every time you die, uh, the game takes 50 coins, and if you don't have 50 coins, then you don't go to the checkpoint, you go back to the beginning of the level. So that kept happening, because I was low on coins. This part is super tricky. Look at these fire rings. Got through that pretty quickly. Uh, I'm actually gonna take a death to get health. Oh nice, yeah, I'm at three health now. So now I have six health. Inconsistent boss really is um, the World 3 boss. All the other ones are pretty consistent or have strats that can be consistent. This is still three. Yeah, it is. Lots of extra health. That's very good. Okay. Run this way this time. No, you still ran that way. Not the direction I want you to run. I want you to run to the right. Why didn't that work though? That that should have worked. Or maybe maybe the AI is different once you get at that section. Cause it's supposed to run like a towards you or away from Oh, I forgot now. Get back here. Don't die as crew. So if you die as crew, you have to do the whole thing over again, which sucks. Okay. There should be four. No, it's five. I forgot. Okay. 
this boss is complicated, but once you have the strat down, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah, I got you. Alright, that was really good. What the hell? Oh, wait. Why did I split? Why did the game split? I'm like, how is it a minute? And how is how was my previous one a minute? But no, this was 15 minutes before, and now it's like 5 minutes. Okay. Just don't die. Actually, I don't know. If you die here... Does the boss stay defeated? I cannot remember if it does or not. Or actually, I don't know if it does or not. Ooh, I wonder if sub hour is possible. It might be. It might be. Wait, what? Why do I have way more chess pieces than I need? Did they change the requirement? Wait, because that did not... S I had more chess pieces than I needed there. What? I'm super confused by that. Am I seeing things or did, did the requirement on the magical crossing higher than the amount that I had? That's so much easier now because enemy bouncing is like more consistent now. That's so much easier now that enemy bounces are like more consistent or completely consistent. Because in the previous version, the previous. Like, the launch version, they're just inconsistent for some reason. These levels are so fast to run through. You don't need any chess pieces, because... For this category, at least. They're actually... Pretty... They're actually a decent length. Decently long length with chess pieces. Top one for that level. <laughs> All right, final boss time. Also, flashing light warning real quick for this section. All right, flashing lights over. Just that one tiny section, right there. It's a little bit flashy. Come on, hit the thing.
Dang it. I shouldn't have tried for that jump. I should have practiced it before going for that. I guess this level has a tad bit of RNG with which attacks are done. Just go the slow way for now. Okay, I actually want to try this for a round. I'm not sure if this would be better, but I feel like it might be. I don't know, trying to think about it, it this might be better. Because you only have to do this run back. Well... Can you climb up? Because you you'd have to do that climb twice, but I don't know. I, I I think I need to like go into a video and time it out and think about it more thoroughly. But doing that might be better. But who knows? more. This is gonna be- this is probably gonna be slower because I did die, but it was- it was early-ish on into the level. Yeah, I'll wait on that. Wait, did I miss one? I feel like I'm missing one. Oh no. I'm missing one. That route was not a good idea then. Oh no, I'm missing one! This is supposed to be the last one! I'm probably missing like one post somewhere. I have to do the whole thing over. Just tank it.
Ah, uh, how was that? How did I miss one? I could have sworn I got them all. Oh no. Oh no. Am I even gonna make it at this point? Oh, barely. Did I miss that one last time? I'm gonna have to watch it back. Yo, Thermal, what's up? How is it going? Thank you for the raid. Did you finish learning Bug Hundo? This is the third time I'm trying this boss because first time I died early on, second time somehow I missed one of the pillars. And I'm not sure why. So we got it this time. You did and you finished a run, let's go. What time did you get? This run overall was a lot better up until this boss. This boss just happened to be stupid. Mostly because I forgot the thing. 129... 129 something. 129 12. Nice. Hopefully I'll beat that <laughs> this run. Wait, why am I still missing one? I'm still missing one! What am I missing? Is this not the last one? This was always the last one. Thought at least. Now I'm super confused. Is there one more? Well, there has to be one more. Oh my god! That's supposed to be it! Yeah, that's that one. So, I must be missing... ...something in between. That's... that's one. I'm so confused. How did I miss one? That's the last one. There's no... there's none in between.
I forgetting to go back to the... <gasps> Am I forgetting to go back to that one? Oh, I think that might... Yeah! Oh, God, I'm stupid. Yeah, of course, it's that... I'm supposed to go back to the left here. Or wait, was I? I what? No! Oh, I was going up and then going to the right. I was going to the right right away. I went up and then to the right. I'm supposed to go to the left. That's what I'm missing. God, I'm stupid. Yeah, this whole section. Now I remember. It's the new route. The new route I was trying messed me up and made me forget this. Three times, apparently. Or the slightly different route I was trying to do. <sighs> what a stupid way to lose time. So much time. But it's fine. We got this now. Because I knew I wasn't supposed to go that... Like, I knew that was supposed to be the last one. And we don't do the... Stupid thing. The... Those, like, flippy lava platforms. be a faster way to do this, though. Alright. This is the la Not this one. The next one is the last one. For real this time. Let's go! Will Izzy be the 12912 now? <laughs> nah, I will. I will. I'm done already. Like, I beat the boss. It's finished. Just gotta run to the end now. Nah, it's done. Boss is defeated. Even if I die. Even if I die, the boss is still defeated. Literally, like, the strat is to exit level. <laughs> Gotta get to the portal, though. Yeah, I could just fall off and die. And bam! Let's go! 129.59, or 121.59. <laughs> ah, that final... Stupid boss and that one pillar I kept forgetting. Otherwise that would have been a mate that that would have been ten minutes faster. That could have been a 111 PC. But still way better than the last time. Mostly because I'm playing on PC now. But yeah.